Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, this is Alicia Diane and I am so glad that you are here. Today we're going to be doing some animal drawings. I'm um, actually doing some, but a little bit different. We're going to be doing some animal characters so this should be really exciting. Um, usually um, the animal drawing episodes that I've done so far have been you know just sketching animals from life and we use some photo reference but today we're going to be making some characters so this should be pretty fun. So let's go on ahead right into Photoshop. And I'm going to open it up and we are going to get some drawings done. I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. I uh, mean, weekend is going pretty good. I cannot complain. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be speaking with all of you and just um, having the opportunity to share with you guys. So let me go on ahead and open this up. And let me see. I didn't even pull any references yet. So let me see. Maybe... We're going to do a couple of line sketches. So what I'm going to use is this app. And it's a pretty cool app just to get some, some ideas going here. And it's just called uh, Character Design Shuffle app. And it's pretty neat. It's a nice little resource for um, just uh, getting a little ideas for um, character designs. So let's see. The first one I'm going to pick, it says it's a hippie slouching. I'll use a couple of line reference. And let's see. Oh, I have it. Did I log out? Oh, okay, I'm all right. So let's see. I'm going to draw a couple of them. And I'm going to keep it pretty loose. I just want to get some, just some ideas flowing. Let's see. Hmm. So let's start right There we go. And I, the reason why I do um, so many references for life is just because, like, really, I want to get, like, I want to be able to know enough about the character from memory that I can kind of play with it when I get to this phase. And at this phase, You know, you don't really want to be worrying too much about. I'm going to open his mouth a little bit here. About, you know, if you can draw the animal or not. Just at this point, you should already be kind of comfortable with whatever the, um, the inspiration is. So whether you're drawing human or you're drawing um, an animal, you should be kind of comfortable with it at this point, or hopefully you are. And I kind of keep them loose. Get a little, I want them to be kind of older, so I'm going to give them a little bit of, you know, a couple of age lines just to make them a little bit charismatic in that way. And maybe he's got a little snaggle tooth here because, you know, He's kind of living a little bit more free. Maybe he's got like a scar on your neck, or like some hair that goes back. Maybe his arm is just kind of hanging out right here. And maybe he's just kind of sloshing like this. And he's got his legs crossed, you know. Still got that sharp toe because he is a lion. He's got maybe some little bell bottoms. That'd be cool if he had like some little Birkenstocks. Yeah. Kind of fun. And then his arm come around here. I'm starting to, you see, come to life a little bit into more of what I'm aiming at, you know, making that sort of hippie type of character. And I would just, you know, at this stage too, it's just get a nice rough drawing. Maybe he wears a big medallion belt buckle or something. 
Maybe he's got a little bit of a V neck, a little open, a couple little scragglies. <laughs> and even some, I think some sunglasses would help. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. I just want to make it interesting. I think he's talking to us. With, um, with figure drawing and very realistic drawing, I like to get the the body in first because it's all about the pose and the motion in the pose. But when I'm doing character design, I really like to get the face first because that's the first thing that people are going to notice when you're doing character design. Is they're going to look right at the face, almost like when you first meet somebody, you know, you, you mean, the first thing you're going to look at is their face. You look into their eyes and that's the same thing that we do when we see characters. We look right in their face and we look right in their eyes just like they are you know, an actual person. Because in a sense, you know, they are, they're real in our stories. And it's important that we make them kind of believable in that sense. He still has his mane going here, but it's kind of a little bit more hip, it's going backwards. And there is the gist of our guy. And there is a little, um, a very nice start for making a very basic character design. And, you know, if I was really um, trying to make this guy fit into a story, maybe I might draw a couple of different versions of him just to see which one I like best and maybe push the design a little bit. But for this guy, I think he's gonna stay right here. So let's go into our second. I'm gonna use the shuffle again, just to see what other types of characters we can come up with. So let's do it. So this is a medic catapulting. That sounds interesting. So I'm not sure how medics catapult, but let's see. Mm. I'm assuming medic means paramedic. It's the only type of medic that I know of. So let me get some ideas. Hmm. Let me use very serious type of medic. I'm going to make his face look pretty big. And, uh, and I notice like when I'm making the, the face, I do kind of make actions with my face, kind of like just to see like how would he be making his expression. So now I'm trying to figure out what kind of face would you make with your. I want to pretend that he's very cool and he's very relaxed at this. He knows what he's doing. Maybe his hair is sort of flowing in the back. I apologize if I have to um, end this early. Hopefully we can go for a while, but I am doing this sort of as an impromptu and I may get interrupted at any point during this video, <laughs> but I'm hoping not. Maybe he's a happy medic. I would end on him like kind of graceful. Why not? I think he's a very graceful medic. What do medics carry? Maybe like a medicine bag or something? Maybe like a... I'm gonna figure out, let me Google what a medic uniform looks like because I kind of tried to think of it on my own, but I had like I'm not getting the image. So I'm gonna Google some paramedic images 
And let me just share with you guys what I came up with so you can see what I'm doing. Because I don't know what kind of hair mask wear. Let's see. I'm going to change my screen now and I'm going to go into Google. If I can find it. Here it is. So here we go. And so I'm just going to see what paramedics wear. And she looks pretty bad. A stethoscope. We got like an emergency bag. It looks almost like a police's uniform, but enough shirt and dark co colors. Such a serious profession, you know? You gotta be pretty brave to do something like that. I don't think I could do that. Okay, gloves. What else? I'm just like taking in like a little inventory of what kind of stuff they have. So I see gloves, I see stethoscope, I see emergency bag. I see this air bag thing. A couple of them with that air thing. The oxygen. So maybe he's doing something like that. The little um, radio. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I see. And then on Pinterest, I'm just looking at different images of lions. Just so I can look back and kind of back and forth through like the face. Just want to keep that kind of in mind while I'm doing the character. Cool, so now I'm going to go right back to Photoshop. And kind of keep going with my character. Okay, so here he is. And there's a couple of things I see that we can add. So maybe he's wearing gloves to be nice and clean and safe. Maybe he's a little bit more bigger in the neck. Maybe he has a collar on. And maybe he's grasping like um, his emergency bag of things. And he's got a little, um, there's not enough space, so I'm going to change his size a little bit so I can do the rest of his body. Scale the size down, keeping everything in the exact same proportion. Just want to scale it down just a bit. Yeah, maybe seven percent. Okay, so maybe he's got his little belt. And maybe he has a back pocket in his work pants. I don't know why, but I want to draw him with Crocs, so I'm going to draw him with Crocs. I don't, I know paramedics don't wear Crocs, but I just think it's kind of funny. Maybe like a nurse who kind of had Crocs on. I know it's two different professions, but this is, I mean, you want to have fun with it. It's okay to do something that's totally kind of goofy but still kind of makes sense, even though it doesn't make sense, if that makes sense. <laughs> I think it kind of does. He has this radio. You see all the little things that I was noticing before? Now I can kind of put those into play. And maybe that's his focus. You know. He's off to save the day, and he's very confident about it. I like that. He's got some oxygen here. I don't remember exactly what the oxygen bag looks like, but kind of like that. But you know, we have the gist of a character now. And actually, I'm going to give him some clues. And it's okay to like draw over your drawing. And that's what we're kind of doing. We're getting creative. But now we have like a gist of a cool little character who's off to do some important work. Maybe he has some bushy eyebrows. Maybe he has a mustache too. Would he have a mustache? Nah, yeah, I don't want the mustache. It ages him. Maybe he has high brains. Yeah, now he looks like he's from like Florida or something. 
Ay, me quedo fuera esta silla. Ya me he echado a But yeah, I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. And it's fun. Okay, so now there we go. And we're going to do a couple of more. And maybe there's just an ambulance. We just got out of the ambulance with that. I'm not going to use a reference for the ambulance. I'm just going to draw something. Really just to kind of. Emergency stuff. And. I don't know what that means. I'm going to try to put the snake on it. A little medical symbol. But, you know, it's just something we have. A... He's off to go save somebody. Okay. So, I'm going to keep it loose and do another character. And let's see, there's Shuffle. And it says a key, a sea captain galloping. So I am going to draw a nice, friendly sea captain. And I'm going to Google again. See what it might look like. So let's go ahead and see some images. I'm going to share with you what a sea captain might look like. And just getting some resources from our friendly Google, because Google has is just a ton, a wealth of resources, so is Pinterest, but Google is really, you know, I mean, it's going to be such a friend of yours when you're <laughs> making characters. It's a lot of beards, a lot of round faces, sort of Santa claus -y, but like with swagger, it's like Santa Claus with swagger, isn't it? <laughs> totally. Yeah, so like sea captain -y. All right, got some ideas. There you go. That's a good one right there. That's a good one too. That nose, nice, prominent. Okay, so I'm gonna keep a little nice um, sea captain reference. That's a good one too. A lot of these are actually drawings, but um, that's okay. I just want to get sort of a an idea for what type of a character this person is that I'm about to draw. So actually, not really person, but lion person. It could be any animal you want it to be. I'm choosing lions, but you can do any type that you like. Um, the only thing that I would say is just practice drawing your the animal species a few times before you actually make a character. It will help a lot. And then just start, you know, drawing. So now I'm going to keep my resources available for me. And I want them to be very no nonsense looking. So maybe he's. Everybody, all of the characters it seems like I've done so far are given a lot of the side eye. That's okay. I would draw him with a pipe, but I don't really want to encourage smoking. It's a horrible habit. <laughs> I don't want to be preachy, but maybe I'll just have words. Nice captain-y hat. Reference what hats look like because I'm not really great at drawing hats. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not really good at drawing hats, but I can learn. Uh, 
Are there not that many sea captains around? I think maybe there's just like not that many that go by the stereotype. I know there's tons of fishing boats that go out every year. It's kind of sad actually. But I know a lot of people make their living doing fishing and so there must be sea captains out there somewhere. And now that I've done his face, I'm going to change the size also on this one a little bit. You can't see the same. I'm going to go around 80%, let's see. Are there any full body references? What do see captains wear? What do their uniforms look like? I'm going to go and look a little bit through here. Oh, there's that one from um, The Simpsons. That's a funny one. That's such a good one, too. You can't really see it. It's too small, but yeah, that one is funny. I just wanted to show you, but it's so small. I can't even see it. But that one was an awesome character design. Let's see what else. Maybe I want to make him. Uh, he's gonna have some... So he's definitely going to have a big pouch belly because he eats lots and lots of fish. <laughs> and he doesn't have a lot of patience either. He's just like grouchy. I don't know why all those sailors in the pictures look grouchy, but maybe if you've seen a lot of storms, um, maybe they're too grouchy. I don't know. Maybe too much salt water. I don't know. I don't want to do him. I kind of his face a little bit, but I think I want to rotate him a little bit. Rotating him just a little bit just to kind of get him to put his weight on one leg while he's leaning a little bit over here. Gonna have to fix that arm a bit, but yeah. he's kind of skeptical. Maybe there's like a new, um, what do they call those swashbucklers, the new sailors on board, and he's kind of skeptical of him. Just kind of trying to figure out the story too while you're drawing it live. Maybe why he's grouchy right now. Just being too much. I've heard too many fish stories. I've heard way too many fish tales and he's just kind of fed up with it. Now I'm going to change the size again. He's still kind of too big for my paper or my, my canvas. In Photoshop. So there's my party sea captain. And I'm gonna get try and get to the bottom of this fish here. Got my few claws in. He's a lion, so he's not wearing shoes, I guess. He wears clothes, but not shoes. <laughs> you can take creative license to add or take away whatever you want, depending on your character, especially if you're drawing humanoid type characters, like I'm doing right now. I'm not drawing a full, like, you know, uh, animalistic type of lion. It's very humanoid, wearing clothes and everything. But that's kind of just what I want to do. And you can make it however you like as well. Whatever, whatever um, the show requires or whatever type of style you're looking for. I 
kind of keeping the shape of his body as I go around with the stripes. Keeping it loose, but still keeping it like starting to think about where I would be cutting it up. If I was to go over this with ink, or in my case, um, digital ink in Photoshop, how I would do that. I need to try and clean them up a bit so the lines aren't as rough. I'm going to review here that he's laying his hand down. I don't know what he is. He's on the bowl right now. Maybe there's a, a wayward parrot with him. <laughs> Really kooky looking bird. I'm not even referencing any parrots right now, but I just want to kind of. I think the parrots can go that way. The head feathers, if they go that way. I know that's such like a old piratey stereotype, but I just want to make it fun. If you can add other characters to your um, to your drawing while you're making these kind of character illustrations, it just adds so much um, more um, charm and like ability to your audience. And um, I also hear it's very very invaluable when you're looking for work and you have a portfolio that's full of um, illustrations that have multiple characters um, or even just two characters interacting with each other in some way it just adds it tells um, the viewer that you are aware of storytelling and kind of that to them so here's my guy going forward I would definitely redo his leg right here Kind of reposition that so it's not looking too awkward like it's looking right now um, but this is the gist of where I would be going with the character and just cleaning it up from there maybe he's called spokes or whatever around here somewhere don't want to make a tangent with that maybe something like that Okay, so moving on. And he's looking like that. Kind of reposition his eyes so he's looking a little bit more at the pair. There. there we go. That's pretty fun. You can see it. And let's do one more time. for the day and we will be back again so shuffle and a student dragon oh, boy do i know what that's like i don't even need a reference for that my son does it every day and a kid's kind of dragging off to go to school so i kind of know what that looks like so i'm actually gonna look up a lion cub for this one and I'm kind of going to make him look like he doesn't really want to go. He's really bored. I don't want to go to school today. Go, mom. I'm going to give him a big round of why? Just want to make it look. I 
Go to school today. It's not Monday, is it? No, I don't like that. I create you again. And the thing is, ah, no. Oh, no. Maybe you could stand that one time. Let's see, Ryan Cub is. Mom. Let's go. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. Oh, I can't feel up the depression. I don't want to go. I don't want to go today. <laughs> I'm just sending a picture of like his face, like how would he do it? I don't want to go today. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit more lighter. Go. Maybe he's got that. He has to wear a tie. I don't really want to wear the tie. Maybe he has to go to private school. I don't know. <laughs> he's got his backpack. Did you ever, did you have to wear like a uniform? I had to wear a uniform all the way through to the end of high school. I had to wear this. Now maybe he looks too mature with the that. So maybe he's wearing like a bow tie. Looks too mature with the tie. He's wearing like a uniform bow tie. Oh, up school boy. School bag, doesn't really want to go. But he has to go because his mother is making him go. Like I make my son go whenever he doesn't want to go to school. I don't know if I like the bow tie either, maybe he doesn't have a bow tie either. Oh, please don't let me go. Please, mom. Keep going, keep pushing it a little bit. My cubs don't want to go to school. Me too. Like, please, mom, don't make me go. I want to go. No, let me see.
Like I had to wear like a little Barbie school sweater. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. I make his eyes like more sad, I'm wondering. Or what can I do to make his eyes more sad? Hmm, I'll do so I didn't have the angle in mind necessarily when I first started, but now that I just angled him over this way, I kind of want to push that angle a little bit more. Does he look pathetic enough? Pretty pathetic. <laughs> no, please. Do not make me go there. There we go. That's better. And then going forward, I would just keep, you know, um, continue to figure out my lines, continue to figure out my positioning, just making it more and more crisp and clear um, every time. Just adding more and more detail, making it a little bit more crisp and concise. I have my little character. So let's review what we did today. We did several character design poses. This one right here is a student dragging not wanting to go to school he's dragging the morning along he's dragging his mom along he's dragging himself along <laughs> he doesn't want to go before that he did a sailor who was just leaning over and not having it so soon and then we did a medic sleeping. And he was really was a lot of fun to do with his little croc. And the first one we did was a was a hippie slouching. This was a lot of fun. And let me get back into um my viewer. So I hope you guys enjoyed um the start of a new series that I want to be doing with you all. And um, I hope you all enjoyed our animal character design little workshop. <laughs> and thank you for watching so much. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you know anybody who would like this also, please share. And thank you so much again. And I will see you all next time.